Hi, Simon. You have quite the mask on today. All right, so what's today all about? Lego. Yeah, and uh, before we get started, um, we have some announcements. There are two weeks, well, four sessions of Simon the Scientist left. And um, we also won the M-Power Challenge, and last oh, week- Oh, wait, 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 what's the M-Power Challenge? So it was set up by Manitoba Possible. And last week we, or a couple weeks ago, we did our assistive technology session. And Simon the Scientist, do you want to tell what you won? I won $2,000, but it's not for us, like, like great money. Right, who's it for? And it's to put um, those funds towards yeah, assistive technologies and anything to make everything we do accessible to everyone. That's pretty amazing. All right, you have another announcement from last week's session. Um, the last week's prize winners are Parker from Moostra, Isabelle, I Is mean, Isabel, um, Clementine, and Oscar from Churchill. Excellent. Congratulations to Parker, Isabel, Clementine, and Oscar. That's amazing. All right, so Simon, you have some uh, facts for us today. Do you want to start with some Lego facts or jokes? Which one? Or you can go back and forth if you want to. Uh, okay. The famous Lego brick is more than 50 years old. Lego bricks were made in 1950, which would make it 72 or something. Uh, if I'm doing my math right, that would make it 62. Yeah, I think so. Confusion alert. <laughs> the world, also the world's tallest Lego tower is 28.7 meters. 28.7 meters. That's almost 90 feet. Nice. Yeah, that is. You're only about four feet. Pretty cool. And now, um, the Lego minifigures are the world's largest population. That is crazy. I want to know how many min minifigures there are. Each, each person who has a Lego set has about, I think, 500 figures. What? I wonder if we have that many. And, um, um during Christmas, 20 Lego sets are... Sold a second. 28 sets every second? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, that's, that's quite a bit. Do you have another one on there? Lego bricks start as dough. How, they start as dough? How do they get hardened? Like they're pretty hard now. What do you think? It's a mystery. I bet they get baked and cooked in some way. I wonder if the dough. I wonder if it's dough that I can eat. Yeah. Pardon me again. I wonder if it's dough that I can eat. No, no. Yeah, I wonder. That's interesting. Good question. Um, the number not in Lego tell a story. How so? Some letters flip on their sides or um, upside down. <coughs> create letters. Cool. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sneezing on the other side of the camera here. <laughs> Next. Um, there's a reason stepping on a Lego brick hurts. What's the reason? It's hot. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah, that's right. Um, and the last but not least, Lego gives you extra bricks on purpose. Mm. Like if it's a Lego set or something. Well, that's good to know because for so long, we thought that we were doing our Lego wrong because we had extra pieces left over. Yeah. Um, here's a joke. This is my favorite. Um, what is Elsa's favorite song? All right. 
I don't know, Simon. What is Elsa's favorite song? Lego, Lego. <laughs> I love it. We're going to be seeing that one all day. Okay, so Simon, um, we have some more jokes, but we'll save them for later. Right now, you have something really cool to show us. My lab. Yeah. Okay, so what did you make? My lab. I made my lab. What's, what's that? My lab. Like a science lab? Yeah. Okay, can you show us your science lab? So Simon made a whole Lego science lab. Okay, tell us all the different parts of it. This is the classroom. And this one is the classroom. And um, here's something that I like about this guy. Um, there's this X sensory and... Um, oh, you got to show. No, yeah, just like that. Hold it still. Um, and it... And the magnifying glass actually works. Okay, if you hold it still, so this is the guy it came with. If you hold the magnifying glass still, I'll see if I, no, just hold it still. Okay. I'll see if I can get it to work through the camera. Do you see that? Oh yeah, we can see it. Look at that. So the magnifying glass that came with Lego actually works. Now I can have a close-up of a lizard's eye. Yeah, okay, so tell us more about this classroom. Um, I have two personal favorite Lego figures. Um, one, this one, because it looks almost like me. It's mostly just the hair. Wait, let's see. Oh, yeah, we got to find some good hair on that guy. And this is my other one. Oh, yeah. How come that one's your favorite? Actual science out. Crazy. Lab hair. Yep. Cool. Okay, and so you have a teacher or a professor in your science lab? Yeah. What's going on there? I don't know. He's te teaching about the robots. Teaching about the robots. What does he have? Mini robot guy. Do you remember the name of that guy? The name is half of R2-D2. <laughs> Wait, oh, Do you it? remember? BB-8. Yeah, BB-8. Yeah. All right, tell us, okay, so this is the science lab and the class that's learning all about robotics. What else have you got going on in your lab? I have a, a giant giraffe holding two trees. Oh, how did that happen in a science lab? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what else you got in your lab? Giant crab that I didn't mean to make. How is it a giant crab? Like, tell the science story about the giant crab. It accidentally messed with, um, size ray. With a size ray? Yes. Cool. Okay. What is this thing here, this whole tower? Oh, this is an energy thing. I put things there if I don't want them in the lab. Okay. Yeah. So that's an energy... Like empty Cheeto bags. Ooh, okay. Mm. So who's this guy? A marshmallow man. And what's he doing? This thing, um, I forget what I called it. He's testing something out? Yeah, I guess. Okay, and what's at the top of this tower? Skeleton. Okay. He made a mistake with the ray. He made a mistake with the ray? Yeah. What was his mistake? He wasn't supposed to take this thing out. Oh, and then what happened? Zappy, zappy. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then what's over here? What's that? This? Yeah. My kind of portable computer. Oh, cool. Okay. And what's next behind the crab? What? Wait. Um. That's not that. Right. Yeah. You can start with this. Um. That's just myself for things that they don't use yet. Mm. Pardon me. Um, this is stuff that I don't use yet. Okay, what kind of stuff is it? Bar of uranium, TNT, chemicals that I don't have a name for yet. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's next? Tacoizer, which is the size ray thingy. Yeah. I mostly use it on tacos because I'm hungry. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a taco in there. And um, here's my safety equipment. Um, here's something that I use. Um, so this is your shelf of safety equipment? Yeah. Cool. This is my key for the lab. Yeah. Um, well, I'll just grab that. 
Okay, what is it? You gonna show us something here? Um, if it if I need to pick up something that could be dangerous, I use this. Oh, cool! Looks like you have a potion bottle there. That's pretty cool. Also, this one it's just for if I have trouble opening bottles. Beep. Cool. All right. So, is there anything else in the lab that you want to show us? I don't know yet. Oh, beddy bed. The bed. Why do you have a bed in your lab? It lab so perfect. Me no want leave. Lab so perfect. Me no want leave. <laughs> okay. So you're not gonna leave. So you have a bed in there. Which actually is sometimes what happens in, in real science labs anyway, because you like to stay there so long. Okay, so we have um, a few comments and a few hellos as well. Uh, Auntie Lisa says hi. Hi. Liam and Ava say hi. Hi. We have, um, Lisa says she wish, wishes she could be made into a Lego figure. So maybe we'll have to make one that looks like Lisa. RJ says, nice Legos. Elisa says, hey, Simon the Scientist. Um, so listen to this. Wait, Lisa's in my auntie. Yeah, Lisa's in your auntie. Um, you have something I want to say. This is your head in Lego. Oh, yeah, let's look at that. Well, hold it so I can see This it. is my auntie's head in Lego. Okay, so we'll make Lisa into a Lego figure after. Which is head. So listen to this. Heather has a comment to say when we talked about the Empower Challenge. Um, she says, there's a grandma in Germany that is tired of not being able to get into stores with a step because she uses a wheelchair. So she started building ramps with Lego. She did? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. So she could get into stores and she built Lego ramps so she could uh, do that. That is quite amazing. Here's something I wonder. How are the Legos strong enough? Well, that would be the engineering challenge. Oh, right. Yeah. So um, Heather said that it's on the Empower Facebook page. So we would like everyone to go to that Facebook page because obviously there's some very cool stuff there, including stuff about Simon the Scientist. All right. Um, so Lisa thought your, um, this tower here, guess what she thought it was? What? She thought it was the Tower of Terror. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Um, Simon, we actually have two challenges today, and this brings us to challenge number one. Can you tell us what is challenge number one? Um, you don't have to. Um, you can um, give me an idea of what to add to the lab, or... Um, Just the first one so far. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Give an idea. So it's like a reverse challenge. So the ideas that you guys give to Simon... Simon will create and add to his lab, and you'll be entered to win a prize. Don't make it too complex. Pardon me? Don't make it too complex. I'm not that good. <laughs> You're pretty good at Lego. So now, Simon... What if this lab was already built, though? Well, yeah, because you had a science Lego kit. All right, yeah. Yeah, you had that one with the potions in it. Okay. I think it was a Lego hidden side. Yeah, the hidden side is a um, app which... Um, like, um, if you have, like, um, the thingy, um, you can, like, um, bring it to life on an app. Yeah. You just have to scan, um, like, the Lego set, and, um, then you're all ready to go. Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? You can either play as a ghost or a ghost hunter. Yeah, and that was your science lab one that you had was a Lego hidden side. I also had a haunted forest one. Yeah. I think it's still upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Time for a joke. What do you think? Uh, okay. Can a kangaroo jump higher than a tower of bricks? Mm, I don't know. I think maybe the bricks are higher. I don't know. Of course, Legos can't jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good one. Do you want one more joke before we show the next step? Yeah, sure. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lego. Lego who? Lego the handle and let me in. <laughs> nice one. All right, so Simon, I see you built some more stuff over here. 
What would you like to start with? We're going to do some testing. This is me boat. You okay. don't want too much deep tool. This is me bridge. This is my bridge and that's my boat. I didn't add too much detail. How come? You kept it nice and simple. Yeah. Okay. What would you like to test first? Marble. A marble? Okay. No, no. I mean, do you want to test the boat first or the bridge first? Boat. The boat? Okay. So, Simon. That's my shower right there. Simon, I gave you a challenge to build a boat that could hold weight and build it out of Lego. So, we have our bowl of water here. Oh my gosh. It's so <laughs> heavy that it's bending the plastic. It did. And here is your boat let's show everyone the boat that you made boat? well we don't know yet that's why we're gonna we didn't even test this ahead of time we wanted to test it with everyone okay. do you want to show off your boat okay. what is this on your boat spoiler. uh pardon me a little spoiler well like like why do cars only have to have spoilers boats can too there you go all right let's put your boat in and see if it floats now maybe people can help us predict Predict if this boat will float or not. Kinda does. Yep, it floats. Now hold up the first, wait, 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 wait. We're yeah, you can hold it up, but don't put it on yet. So let's show everyone what we're going to test. Let's see if it will hold the weight of a car. Now hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, we're gonna let people get in their predictions before we test it. Okay, so Heather thinks it will float. I don't know. What do you think, Simon? I think not. This thing is made of metal and that's only plastic. Oh, yeah, could be. All right, let's try it out. Nope. Whoa. Well, I don't know. Well, let's see if we can balance that car on. Let's see if we can balance it first. Nope. Nope, it sunk the boat. It sunk the boat, but now the boat recovered and the car is at the bottom. Liam says it will float. Willow says sink. Hang on, hang on. Hold that up. Hold that up. Mm. So we got to let people get in their Marble. guesses first. Yeah, let's see this. Marble. Now we'll go on to the next one, and so that last, is a last, marble. The last one will be a big chunk of marble. Yeah. So let's see if. No, you don't just. You can't cannonball it on. You got to put it on gently to see if it'll hold I it. I produced Kinoon Blail. I predict. I predict. I predict. Um. I predict it will float. Okay, Willow and Bryson say float. Okay, so let's put the marble on gently and see okay. if the boat can hold it. Kind of yes, kind of not. Yes, but overall, it's still floating. Yeah. Not touching the bottom. It is not touching the bottom. So Willow, Bryson, Heather, yes, you were right. Liam, this one is floating, but it is sinking also a little bit. So it's kind of in the middle, but overall, it's still floating. It's called in process sinking. Yeah, it could be in the process of sinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got some water in the boat. Let's empty out the water. Keep it floating. Pop, pop, pop. Now we're going to test out a giant, oh. this. So hold that up. I'm sorry, my friend. No, hold home. it up. Hold it up so everyone can see it. This is my friend's head. Yeah. He's so very surprised that he's going to have to do this. Okay, so who is your friend? Woodrow Will. Well, right now, headless Woodrow Will. Yeah. <laughs> and you made a guy out of wood. So this is a wooden block. And let's get in everyone's predictions. Can wooden the wooden block with a hole on the bottom? Yeah. Cause that's where his neck goes right so hang on hang on hang on let's get everyone let them get in their predictions will the boat hold it or will the boat sink okay willow and bryson both say sink for the wooden block i feel like um like in the middle liam says it'll float you think it'll be in the middle yeah heather says float okay let's try it out lisa says float uh oh well, it kind of went off balance. Let's see if we can get it in there really balanced. Let's see if it'll hold it. Okay, let go. No, that's twice. Okay, do you want me to see if I if it can balance? Wooden Will's going for a bath today. Look at him, he's all wet. Okay, well, if I let's see if I can get it to balance, and if not, then this is a sink. I I've never seen a okay, bath this big. Look, it sunk. I'm surprised. I thought it would hold that one. 
But oh. Wooden Will is in the water three times. Now let's try out the big alien bug. Okay, hold it up for everyone to see. Big alien bug, you may remember this from the bug session. That's right. This is our family bug that we like to scare people with. I once scared the bejeebus out of my mom because I put it on the doorknob. Yeah, you know. did. So will... It so well. It really did scare me. Yeah. Will the boat um, hold the bug and float or will it sink? Okay. Oh, yeah. Liam it. said that, I think, Liam, I think you're talking about Wooden Will's head that it floated by itself. So technically that's still a float. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Which is true. <laughs> Simon likes to be technical about that stuff too. So sometimes sometimes you can call me Mr. Technical. <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. So nope. Liam, Willow, and Bryson say float. Nope. Well, but you just kind of threw it on there. We got to make sure that the bug is balance that's the tricky part well now it's winning so it won't fly away that's true you want to see if you can balance it on gentle balance oh 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 still kind of on it's still kind of on I don't know. but if the bowl of water were deeper i think it would be sinking because the bug is touching the bottom let's try one more time with the bug okay this pick, boat up, is pick up the bug this boat is having a bad day yeah so hang on, hang on. Let me get the boat floating first. Let's try one more time. Balance that bug. Uh, nope, yep. that's the third time. This time it finally actually slipped. Yeah, it actually slipped off all the way. Monster of the deep. Yeah, but monster of the deep. Are we going to put the, the bridge on or is it just going to be on the table? Like, oh, hang on, hang on. Like so bridge over water? Look what we have here. No, we won't put the bridge over water. We'll do the bridge just on the table. Um, Land but it would be like a real bridge like that. That is true. So <laughs> Simon, what what do you have here? Big chunk of marble. Can you hold it so everyone can see? Big, Look at this giant marble. Big chunk. So we thought the last marble would sink the boat, but it actually stayed afloat. But look at the size difference. Yeah. So we have now the giant marble. Wait, 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 wait. We got to let everyone get in their predictions. Will the marble sink the boat or float the boat? Simon, what's your prediction? Of course it sink. This is already kind of heavy. Yeah, it's heavy in your hand even. Yeah. Okay, we'll let people get in their predictions before we test it I out. I didn't know a glass ball could be so heavy. Yeah. Heather thinks it will sink the boat. Yeah, yeah, I think the best prediction is sink. Okay, Liam says sink. Okay, I think we're ready to try it out. Now put ready. it on gentle. You can't cannonball Aim. it. Fire. Gentle. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> it didn't even stand a chance. Ge oh. oh my goodness, look at that. It's, it sunk the whole boat. Not even a bit is on top of the water. Yeah. That's how my videos. Yeah. Willow and Bryson also said sink. We all got that one correct. That's right. Look at so, that. You can that tell because cool. I'm putting my fingers in the water and you can tell. Yeah. So this one didn't even stand a chance. It just sunk it right to the bottom, which is something the other stuff didn't do. Okay. Nope. So now. Now let's. Whoop. Sorry, Simon. I just popped a piece off your boat. So you now we're going to move to the bridge. popped off two pieces. Oh. Says mix. Says Mr. Technical. Yes, Mr. Technical. Now, Simon also built a bridge. So, Simon, would you like to tell us about this bridge that you built? Um, this bridge doesn't have that much of details. Sorry. That's okay. And, um, I don't think, um, the big marble will, um, stay on, because it only has two things. Two, what are those things called, do you remember? Stability! Tower things. I yeah. forget what they're called. Yeah, they're like supports or stuff for stability. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's Just test out. a big long stick floating across the river. Yeah. So we've got some four. I'd not go on that bridge if that existed. We've got some four people there. You want to try Daddy, to put them on mommy, the bridge? sister, brother. Put them on the bridge, see if the bridge will hold them. Well, I mean, people do walk across bridges. Right. Yeah, but we're happening? testing the strength of your bridge. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you put the yellow one on. Or I guess that's okay. What I was going to show what? is, look, you have no stability 
under here on this side, but it's still holding these people. And these people are kind of heavy. They have weights in them. Well, here's something. Um, it will still hold even though it's quite a ways away from the non-stable part. Yeah, it is. That's good stuff there. Pretty good. All right, let's test something else. Ooh, Do you think it I, will hold? Here's two things that this thing is. I mean, three. This track, not really working. Also, a marble arm. Okay, let's see if it'll hold the little marble. Wait, 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 wait. When you do this marble, let's see if you can roll it from one end to the other and if the bridge will not fall down. Okay. Okay, oh, start at the, the end and see if you can give it a little push. Whoa, and what happened to the bridge? Stayed up. Yep, still standing. That's yeah. pretty cool. What do you wanna test next? Oh, you're you're fixing your design now. Well, well yeah. that changes everything. Well, only on one end. That changes everything, though. Not well, only on one end. Okay, well, let's see. So you changed a variable. You put an extra um, stabilizer on one side, but there's not an extra one on this side. So let's see what happens. So you want to try the big marble? I'm kind of scared. Yeah, okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's start on the stable side. So now it holds it on that side. I predict Will it hold it in the middle? Of course. Of course it would. Good. <laughs> Will it hold it on this <laughs> side? Um, I predict yes. Oh. Boop, buddy, doop, but look boop, at the boop. Lego. Do you see how it's starting boop, to bend? Buddy, boop, buddy, boop, boop. What if you put it on the very end? Do you think it would hold? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Whoop. Okay, you gotta let go. Oh. Nope. <laughs> so let's roll it from this end to that end and see what happens. Wait. No, 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 just the way it is, just the way it is. <laughs> we'll put that one back on after. Okay. Right now, let's do it without that and is see it what happens. From here to there or yes. here to there? from this end all the way to this end, and let's see what happens. Well, I know what would happen, but you're catching it. Okay, I'll catch it. Whoa! <laughs> so did you see at the very end, it tilted it. it was so it lifted up the bridge. Let's see if that same thing happens. Nope, nope, it didn't happen on that one. So it was stable enough that the bridge did not lift up oh, with a small marble. Yeah, holds that. Hump. Oh. Nope. Do you think that was because of the weight or because of the balance? Balance. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh yeah, it even holds it there. Pretty good. All right, so it's, Simon. It's butt kind of fits in. That kind of brings us to our second challenge. Build a boat or bridge and test it. Okay, so there's two challenges today. What are the two challenges? Let's review. Um, give me a face sign slab idea to add on, or build a boat, or bridge, or both, and test it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, we've already got some entries for this week, and that gave you some ideas what? for your science lab. What? Um, we've got uh, um, a science vehicle to help with exploring. And we've got an experiment machine. So now you've already Will got you two things. Chamber? Well, you get to decide because it just says an experiment machine. Um, so we want everyone to either give Simon an idea experiment for what. Experiment machine. <laughs> give Simon an idea for what else to build on his very cool Lego science lab. Also, I'm a tool. Try Not building. Wonderful, beautiful tools. Try building uh, a boat or a bridge, test it out, see what it can hold or not hold, and send us a picture of it. All right. Anything else, mister? Bye.